We're here with Yasmin. We're going to talk about her photography, my friend. Hi. Hi. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. I've had my coffee. Now drinking yeah. some tea, which I normally don't do, but. Yeah? You yeah. don't? Why not? I feel like I need the caffeine, you know, but since this morning I drank some and I'm planning to drink some later after this just to like get some work done. So yeah. yeah. So I just need to chill. Chill. So yeah. Okay, so too much coffee is too much coffee. Yeah. Some, sometimes too much coffee can be too much coffee. <laughs> um, like, I feel like these days I'm kind of like, I don't want to say like I'm a, a meme, but it's like coffee, wine, coffee, wine. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, my life. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good mix. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you start, Yasmin? Because I know that I know a little bit, but I really, let's get to the nitty gritty of everything. Okay. Um, so I've had my business, uh, Coffee Creative Design and Photography, for about five, six years now. Um, but I actually just recently went full-time mm -hmm. about, I think it was in March that I had told you, March of this last year. Mm -hmm. um, so before that, I was working um, full-time at an advertising agency, Sanders Wingo. And um, so I was always doing this on the side. So, um, so I would, you know, do my 8 to 5, and then weekdays in the evenings and then weekends I would continue to you know just do it keep yeah because I knew my end goal was I really wanted to work for myself and have a flexible schedule um, I'm a mom so that was really important to me to have that flexibility to be there for her you know whenever she needs me so and I, and I think what's also really yeah. cool is that me and her started around the same time this is two years ago and I think the process of mine and your business started at the same time yeah and it just kind of rapidly grew for both of us kind of quickly here in El Paso and which is really awesome because not a lot of people can say that you're in the industry for only a certain amount of time and then you just kind of grow quickly right yeah and even though you're assisting and doing background stuff I think we gave two years of our full heart mm -hmm. and I saw I saw you completely 100% full heart in each project we've done thank you yeah. and um I mean, even when I would be like, we started off and we did photos and stuff, she'd be like, okay, like, I really want to do this full time. Like, well, you should do it. Like, I just believe in it. I think you should just quit your job now. And she was like, wow. <laughs> no, I have a family. <laughs> I need insurance and, and all that. So, um, but yeah, so it's awesome that, you know, having friends, um, people that empower you and believe in you because then it helps you like, okay, I can do this. And yeah. seeing Sam too, like when I first met her, she didn't have this salon and but when she would talk to me, like it was her vision and everything she has here, it's what she had told me before. And so it's, to me, it's so amazing to see that you've done all this, created all this and it's all your vision and it's, it's more than a salon, it's your brand. And you've just, I just think it's so amazing how you've been empowering other women, people in El Paso. Aww. So that's really cool. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And I think you inspire me too. I think like, I think as far as like your the personality and the photography that you've done and stuff, what yeah. I like about it is that when I have told you to take photos of me, you're like, let's go do this, let's go do that. I'm like, just take a quick one, girl, it's fine. And you're like, no. <laughs> like, let's take a lot of them. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. So I think that's really fun. Yeah, I feel like I can never just take one. Like, you just have to experiment and give because, you know, in reality, when people tell you to take a picture, they always want more than one or, you know, they're not going to like one and they, it, or at least I have sisters that always tell me to take pictures, but it's like, no, take another one, take another one. So it's kind of, I guess, from that too, but yeah. um, just testing different lightings and different backgrounds and mm -hmm. uh, it, it, and then the same as is, is with my clients. I think sometimes I go a little over the time that I tell them because I like experimenting and giving them a lot of variety in their galleries and Right, and you know, also too, I think that what I saw a difference and what I liked is that, see, I'm her friend, but I've also been her client, and I think that is important too, because I think a lot of my friends are my clients, and I think this is a good example of it, is that when I turn in to her clients, I think we both saw two different sides of each other that we hadn't seen, right? Yeah. And which is cool because I think she was kind of like, oh shoot, like, <laughs> too. Yeah. Because yeah. I think that we, we knew exactly what we were, we both wanted. But what I like about Yasmin is that Yasmin kind of is my Pinterest in her brain. I feel like I can give her color schemes and everything and it's like, boom, creative like project already done. And I, and I don't know if it's that we work really well with each other or if this is how she is with every client. Are you? Do you feel? Um, I think so. Like, I think like whenever I get a client, I always make sure to, you know, I'll send them a questionnaire or talk to them to, 
I want to understand what is it that they envision. And a lot of times people don't know, you know, and so that's where I come in and kind of try to help them or give them some guidance. But I think it's very important from the very beginning to understand what is, what is it your client wants, what I could provide, or just, just to manage expectations. Like I want people to, and my goal is to like exceed those expectations, you know, to give them more than, you know, sometimes people, and I think a lot of times, um, people that are not very visual, mm -hmm. um, they don't know what can be possible. You know what I mean? Right. So I think it's my job to mm -hmm. kind of elevate like, oh, you want this, but oh, just wait. You know what I mean? And then just giving them something that they didn't even think was possible or something. Right. Like that, and, it, and when we're doing photo shoots together, what I like also is that you, um, I think we have, and of course everybody's going to have different eyes, but I feel like when we're working together, we see something together. I'm talking with my hand, I'm sorry. But I feel like we see something and it's kind of like magic, right? Where it's kind of like we know where we're going, but you're like, oh, I hadn't seen that. Or I'm like, I didn't see that either. Yeah. But it, we're not even looking at the models. At this point, we're looking at the background. We're looking at the corners of the floor. We're looking at the color screaming out to us. Yeah. And that is something I did not know until working with you. Oh, really? That's awesome. Because I, no. I remember in our last shoot that we did, um, I love that you were there because you kind of, you were there helping me and you know what I mean? Like just kind of like, assistant. oh, that's going to that's gonna work. Or, you know what yeah. I mean? Like you would give me new, um, like we helped each other. We bounce ideas off each other, things that would work. And mm -hmm. I just thought it was a, a good collab, which is why we keep doing it. Yeah. 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 Um, and what has been your like biggest struggle? You feel like, like. I guess within the past two years, and I feel like I said this earlier to you, every day I feel like I'm learning something new. Yeah. So what ha what do you feel like you keep learning, or what ha what was your biggest challenge? Um, yeah, I, I think I'm always constantly learning. I'm still learning. Um, I would say right now it's balancing, balancing my time, like balancing uh, my work, balancing being a wife, you know, balancing being a mom, and still having a successful business, but at the same time, um, being able to dedicate quality time to my husband and my daughter. I think that's been the biggest struggle because when you own your own, own, your own business, you're an entrepreneur and, and you know, you have big, I guess big dreams sounds cheesy, but mm -hmm. it's, you really have to do, you have to sacrifice a lot. And I think, yeah, I think a lot of times now I sacrifice a lot of time not spent with my daughter, but I see it as, it's gonna be, like I see the bigger picture. You know what yeah. I mean? It's not always gonna be like this. But I, it's I, a short time. And let me tell you, I, I'm gonna be, your, I'm gonna be your, your cheerleader because I feel like you're really good at it because I feel like you taught me that. I feel like a photo shoot, I feel yeah. like you're telling me, hey girl, like we have an hour and a half, that's all we have for the photo shoot, that's it. After yeah. that, we gotta go home, I have to be, go home and I have to be with my family and that's it. And I think that's super important because we have a time crunch, we yeah. have we have the, ex, uh, an hour and a half for photography shoot is a lot of time that is more than 600 photos right it's, yeah something that's more than a thousand it's crazy yeah i mean it's a lot of photos yeah. so you do get a lot for the hour and a half but when you're there in the moment it is just so much interaction with both of us and so much time and not even with me okay i'm just saying like i've done this only a, you know a couple of times this is her this is you all the time yeah. So it, I like that because I feel like I take that with me here now. And what we're doing is like, I'm like, okay, we have an hour and a half. We have to do this and stuff. And this, it goes back to me and her talking about this prior to like Laura joining our team, right? This goes back to two years of before even any of this was possible. Yeah. This is us podcasting talk and <laughs> trying to grow and delegating situations. Because before I would say, I really need to do this. But then you're like, well, yeah, you really need to do it. You need to hire someone to help you. Or you really yeah. need to do this. And I'm like, okay, you're drinking coffee, sipping. You know, because yeah. you don't really know what you need until you start talking to different business owners. And that is how you grow. And I don't think that anybody has ever really thought about that. Yeah, and I think when something is your business, it's like your baby. So you want to do it all yourself because you know you're going to do it right. So it's kind of hard to trust somebody else to do a good job or you know to um, help you or just trust people so um, like you said yeah I think our time is very very valuable but when we love something we can spend hours doing it yes but you forget. I think you, yeah. you start learning that okay I'm not gonna be making any money if I'm spending so much time so you just kind of have to delegate and yeah like you said different roles. Yeah. outsource yeah exactly outsource and different roles and just kind of really figure it out you know we're talking about how you um, 
how we change different stuff coming into it where you were at a different corporation, you are at a corporation, mm -hmm. you grew from where you were, um, you mentioned you were there for six years. Right, yeah. Um, what did you take from that? And what did you not take from that? Can we ask those questions? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was there six years. So I started as an intern. I was a graphic designer um, for an advertising agency down mm -hmm. here in El Paso called Sanders Wingo. Um, so I started as an intern and then I went to being a graphic designer. Um, I loved it. It was a great company to work with. Um, the I think I took, I was able to work with a lot of clients, so it gave me the experience of being able to um, learn new things, how to, you know, everybody has their own brand, their own message, and how to adapt my designs to each, each company. Um, but I think, I mean, I always, actually I didn't always know I wanted to have my own business. I think it's, it just kind of organically, it was something that was organic and just grew. And I realized that I was able to have flexibility. Um, but I think it taught me the skills. Like I wouldn't be where I am now if I didn't work there for those six years. Um, but I didn't see myself growing there. With corporate, what do you feel like you took from it? I think I, think I took a lot from it. Everything I learned um, had to, I think, in in the job that I used to work at, there was a bunch of different roles mm -hmm. that we were each assigned to. I was a graphic designer, there was a um, project manager, it's just so many roles. I love that tattoo right there, though. Oh, thank you. And what, what is that? It? Yeah, no, I haven't so, seen it. <laughs> so it's a heart, um, I got it when I was like 18 or 19, mm -hmm. um, but it's a, like a, what is it called? A painting palette, uh -huh. you know? Um, and it's just the shape of a heart. And I guess it's just like, you know, art is my, you is know, your, yeah, my passion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, yeah. It sounds cheesy, but yeah. <laughs> no, I, I like that. I like Thank that. You. I think that our cheesiness it has, you know, really impacted our career, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, what, how has social, social media changed your life? Oh, a lot. Like, I honestly do not know, like, how I would get any business without social media. Like, it's been, you know, what's helped me grow. Um, I love sharing about my life. I love sharing about my work. And I love when I get people responding or sending me messages. Um, you know, I'll get, you know, people that tell me, you know, like, oh, wow, I can't even believe that you're in El Paso. Like, that's crazy. And to me, that's, like, really, like, like, why? You know, I feel like you can do anything or you can be, it doesn't matter where you are. You, if, you know, if you have a goal, like, just do it. Like, that's always been, I, I feel like I've always been very optimistic that way. Like, if I have, if there's something I want to do, like, there's nothing that is going to stop me. Like, I'm going to do it no matter, it doesn't, I'm, it's okay if I'm not in L.A. or New York or a big city. Like, you just got to make things happen. And I think that's my whole take, because I think a lot of clients say that, too. Oh, I didn't know that, you know, you were here. I didn't know you were on this side of town, or I didn't hear this. And I, I'm like, oh, okay, well, thank you. But we're doing a really good job at really trying to create something, because for me, I'm trying to take all these different cultures that I've experienced and bring it in here for everybody. Right, and yeah. I think that you're doing the same thing. And I think maybe that's why we, we collab so well together. Yeah. But I mean, we're also friends at this point, so I'm like, you're gonna deal with me. <laughs> yeah. um, all of our, all of our logo, right, Laura? <laughs> so Laura helps us on social media. She does all of our media posts, guys, and all of our designs. So I think that I think we, it's building your tribe. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And I think that's important, and that's who you should have behind you when you create a business. You're creating a tribe. All of our logos and stuff, the Your New Image, the N, everything was designed by Yasmin. And, you know, it took us a couple of months to actually get it right. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, but I'm really happy that we took the time to do that because now it's on shirts. It's on different stuff. And I think that that we didn't really know that the, it, the logo was going to, the name was going to be the, the way it came out. Right. Yeah. But I'm really happy that we, we took the time to work together to do that. I know. I think it's so cool. Like, I had bought yeah, some shampoo from you and seeing the logo on the sticker. I'm like, oh my god, that's so cool. That's my logo. And, and it's just mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. When you drive by now, too. Yeah, I, mean, I know. That's that, even more, yeah. Yeah, and I think that you've done a lot of that stuff and you have not got any, like, credit for it. And it's cool that I think when you're building an audience and you're building a tribe and as I'm growing too I'm learning to start saying hey like this person does this and this person does this because everybody deserves to get credit and sometimes you're don't mean to not give anybody credit but it just like you're 
Yeah, it's just you don't think about it. And you're just trying to get date by date, you know? Yeah, and it's always good to connect people because networking. you don't know, somebody might need a logo or and somebody how, might need hair. Yeah, and so Anne is the one who did our webpage. Anne mm Guerrero, -hmm. uh -huh. shout out to her. Yes, hi, Anne. She's the one that connected us, actually. Yes, yeah. so she, she was our... Our person actually right yeah so and which is cool because I think that that is also awesome because I think I I think that I would not have met you other other way I'm sure we later on in the road like later later on but it's awesome that we met each other a lot before just because I feel like our visions are very similar okay guys and then I want to quickly talk about um, our sessions that we're having our photography sessions that we're going to be doing together now um, you guys would pick the location and we would help you guys create it. So wardrobe will help you guys go in the direction that you need. And then it's not just about, you know, the moments that you have with your baby and your husband. It's about, you know, yourselves too. Sometimes we like to take selfies and we like to take photography, you know, good photos that we, we can remember. And, and yeah, so I think it's, you know, not just, so if you see the flyer, um, we'll, Samantha will post it and I'll post it on my Instagram, but so it's, it's for moms, it's for um, seniors, it's, and it's not just, I always tell or try to emphasize, you know, it, you know, we shouldn't take photos just on special occasions. Right. And I think um, remembering yourself how you are now, or, you know, maybe you've got, I don't know, you, you just want to pamper yourself. It's more like a pamper yourself, feel good photo session. Like yeah. that's what we want to, want you to get out of it. Yeah. And it's a, it's a, definitely like a confidence building too. You know, I think that we have to remember that we're, we're this age for just so long and stuff. And we're going to, I'm going to post different sessions that I've had with Yasmin, myself, and then different ones that we had with different people. And you can see the changes that I've made. <laughs> <laughs> along the way and then this last session she just posted one that I'm gonna steal off her page and repost it because I picked the area and then you took the picture into something bigger and made it something else but it almost feels like we're in California mm -hmm. and I'm like inspired to go by that that table in that chair you know what I mean I am I'm like where can I find that table <laughs> okay guys we're gonna call it a topic Tuesday for today and um Thank you, Yasmin, for coming on. Thank you for having me. And we will see you guys soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye guys.